Support Our Troops collection is underway in Grand Chute this morning. Angela Kelly joins us live with more on how you can help. Hi, Angie. Hi guys, good morning. Well, outside here of the American Legion Post in Appleton, uh, they are taking collections for the 395th Ordnance Company. Um, those members are currently serving in Afghanistan. These are all items that they would love to receive. And uh, tell you what, I've got two people here who know that uh, more than a lot of people. I've got Dennis and Kara Hankwitz. Uh, Dennis, can you tell us about yours and your children's history of serving in the military? I uh, was in the uh, Army right at the end of Vietnam for three years. And, uh, and my kids, for some reason, they, you know, they, they just got inspired by the, the Army and what it had to offer. And each of the girls joined as they graduated high school, Kara, Kayla, and Candace. And um, Kayla was over in Iraq, and Candace is there in Kandahar now. Yeah, serving. let's. We have a picture of Candace. Um, Candace is part of the the 395th. Uh, she's she's there as we speak. Yes. Um, tell us how she would feel about receiving some of these donations. Very touched. It, it's special to them. The, the smallest of anything means a lot to them all. Okay. Um, and now, and this is Kara, okay? So Kara is Candace's sister. You were also with the 395th. You served with them. Yes, I did. Um, I just actually got out in July, and both of my other sisters served with the 395th, and my youngest sister, Candace, is there right now. Okay, can you pull up a picture on your phone? Because we've got a picture of you three girls, the, the three sisters, Candace, Kara, and Kayla. Tell us a little bit about Kayla. Kayla was an amazing person. She was actually the quietest of, of, of us all, and when she joined the military, it was probably the most surprising. But um, she probably excelled more than any of us so far, and Candace is following her in her footsteps. But she was a sergeant over in Kuwait with um, the 395th in 2007, and um, she just had passed away um, in 2009, uh, actually two years ago in December, from an accident. and. Um, then now my other sister Candace is there now, so it's very cool. So here, Dad, you've got three daughters who have served it, who have or are serving in the military. Um, you've lost one. I mean, not 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 related to the military, but right. what's it like for you knowing that you know your other daughter is putting her life at risk? It, it means a lot to me, and what what it is for the country, and it's it's hard. And, and I'm pr so proud, so proud. Kara, you just got off the phone with Candace. Yeah. From she's in Afghanistan. Yeah. Tell us what she told you this morning. Um, this morning, I actually found out first because a friend had texted me. But um, I had talked to my sister. She, her unit over there, a lot of them had served with my sister Kayla overseas too just an awesome unit. They flew a flag in honor of my sister for Veterans Day, Kayla, who passed away, and presented it to my sister Candace, and she was so touched and crying about it. It was an amazing thing. So it's very cool um, just being in that family of being in the military, but it's also really cool knowing that you have so many people supporting you, and I know they all appreciate even the slightest thing. I know my dad sent um, leaves to Candace and them just because they missed fall. It's just the little things, um, handmade things from kids, a card, um, things that smell good because it doesn't smell good over there. You know, just yeah. a lot of things mean a lot to them. I want to thank you both for joining us and I want to thank you both for your service and uh, your daughters as well. And um, there you go, those those items, those, those small little things you can help. Send them to, to people like Candace and other members of the 395th. We have more information on our website about this collection. Back yeah. to you guys. You